Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ra and this is a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising in Gemini. Gemini, this is all about what is coming for you here within the total solar eclipse in Cancer. And Gemini, I want to say happy birthday if you're watching this um, or even your birthday's past and you're watching this. Happy belated, happy birthday to Gemini. Gemini, this new moon is all about fresh starts and new beginnings. It's just a beginning. It's a new moon. So it's starting to feel what is inside you. And being that it's in Cancer, Cancer is all about the home, your emotions, how you feel. So a new way of feeling inside yourself, feeling differently and how you see yourself from the inside out, from the person you used to be. So being that it's home, it is about building your foundation, right? So doing things differently. You could be adding to your home, moving home. Um, you could be changing things that are inside the home. So there's some shifts and changes that are going on within the home. And this could be both literally in your physical home and also the home with is inside of you. When it's a solar, so solar is about superpower. So this is the new moon that it gives it even more importance. This is a massive emotional shift in Cancer. And it's going to be with us for many years. This card came popping up. Watch your thoughts. Oh, this is perfect for you, Gemini. <laughs> I love that. I just love my Geminis. Yes, Gemini, watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Because it is, whoa, a new moon. It is exactly that. What thoughts are you thinking at this time? Because whatever you're thinking about the self-direction this is, if you have fear in it, you're going to move in that direction. That's the timeline you will choose. And if you're moving with knowing and you have intent and you just know and knowing, right? You just know, no, no. And I have to make a wish. Again, it popped in a reverse. I'm not reading these at reversal, but maybe you are not believing you're in two thoughts about the wish that you want to make. This card says this is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. But when it comes into the reverse, maybe you don't know which direction still, but things will illuminate for you. Or this is, oh, I always make wishes and they don't go my way. And that's when you're thinking like that, watch your thoughts. Because then again, you're making an affirmation that no matter what wishes you make, they don't go, so it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So watch your thoughts and make an intent wish. You're making a wish based on your intention. So let's see what's going on here, Gemini. Where are you in some kind of disbelief about a wish or you just don't know what to wish for? This is a daily guidance from the Angel Oracle, Drawing Virtue, and this one was the mermaid um, and dolphins from Doring Virtue. So let's see, Gemini, 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 my birthday, birthday Geminis. Any messages here from this deck? If not, I will pick one. Nothing wants to fall out. Okay, oop. Cupid. I'm gonna take Cupid. Cupid here, okay. Um, I wanted to look at the bottom, at the bottom of this deck was be honest with yourself. Huh. Okay, I'm going to take it because this is perfect. It goes, and then at the bottom of that was new partner. So are you changing? Hmm. Okay. Could there be somebody else coming in? And right now, maybe, you know, I'm just going to put this on the side because I'm kind of curious myself here to see what's going on. I'm going to pick from the John Holland deck. Okay. Observe. That is the hanged man. So we want to see what is going on here with the observe card. What is it that you need to, there's a shift in perspective, but you're not making a decision yet because a hangman waits, right? It observes everything around it before it just doesn't go out and make a decision, right? It just waits, observes exactly what it says. What is it that you're observing here with the energy deck? Oh yeah. And this that came out, I have the sun at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and take that too. So the sun also represents new beginnings. Um, let me see if there is. Um, okay, and we're going to take one of this card too. So let me just, 
I'm going to take a shuffle with um, Sacred Destiny card. And let's see what's going on for Gemini. Gemini, yours is turning out to be all about relationships. I'm seeing that. Yes, yeah, simplicity. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, going to put these back. We're going to put that back. And we'll let me look at this right now, right? Um, hmm. When I'm okay. So Gemini, again, uh, uh, let's just read the cards that are written. It's pretty self-explanatory when I'm looking at all of this right now. So it's important to only think about what you desire, okay? So whether it's in regards to somebody else coming in or shifting, right, the connection that you have right now with another and having a new start within that relationship, okay? It could be, there's a, there's, a, there's a relationship that has been going in the same direction, in the same way, in the same way, in the same way, and you're questioning it with be honest with yourself. So something is being questioned within, this is a very much a relationship reading. Whether you are wanting a new partner to come in or you're wanting your relationship with the person that you are with to change, to shift, so this is in shifting perspective, as either this relationship has gone as far as it could go and it's time now for you to be honest with yourself, look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. And this says... Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires, right? Here it says, the wish, and they will come to you upon your angel wings. This is a magical moment. So here, are you needing to really look at your relationship with yourself and with another in order to have a shift in perspective and sometimes it is going back to the beginning. So again, you're getting guidance. So you may even find feathers on the floor as you're walking. And if you do, know that you're being protected. And the sun is all about a birth, a new beginning. I think it's going back to the basics is what it's saying. In order with the solar, and here you have the solar sun. So with the solar is all about going back back to it's like you we're not going back to the way things used to be but you're doing something new right you're recognizing with the sun what really brings enlightenment and what really brings joy and what is it that you need to do to bring clarity in your life because the sun is all about clarity it releases everything else it's about simplifying your life here right this is um also scan all areas and clear both internal and external chatter, right? This is bringing yourself to a quiet space, resting, rejuvenating, and also it is about doing it. So in your life, this is about objects, relationships. There's just too much static, too much stuff to connect to your soul. And when keeping it simple, in connecting with what is it that you really want? You're being asked to be honest with yourself about the thoughts that you're thinking. Is there somebody else? And are you, is it time for you now to end um, a chapter with somebody in your life and to move it into a direction? This is a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Make a wish. It's a prayer, right? So if you're single and you were hurt before and you've been willing alone and now you're being honest with yourself and you're saying, you know, I really do want to be um, in a relationship because you've learned to become in partnership with yourself. And now somebody is coming in and says you will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. And then having Cupid 
We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision, again, clear decision, may be honest here, okay? Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself so to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. So whether a connection had come to a stalemate, this is just observing how you can make things simple again and go back to the basics or really understand to have a new beginning with the sun, right? Or it could also be in letting go and really recognizing that the relationship that you have been in is no longer the relationship that is for you. Whether somebody else has come in or not, this is in really being honest with yourself about what you want to bring, like I said, into your home and what is it that you want to come out. So maybe you you were not living with somebody, now you want to move in with them. Maybe you are moving with them and now you're saying that, oh, I don't, just not wanting this. Maybe this is about you taking your independence and claiming yourself to become your own partner. But the way I'm looking at this, this is involving another person that is coming into your life. So let's get you a mermaid. This is all about this new. It is all about the newness. But a little bit of honesty in regards to your relationship. So this is you are observing and seeing your relationship truly for what it is rather than what you thought it was. And your wish here is coming true. But it's like, you know, if something feels like, you know, your question is this too good? Is this too good? This can be. This is like all other stop it. This is saying stop it because you are entering into a new phase, into a new cycle. That means a new Gemini is going in. You just had a birthday. So a new you. What did you set? What is your intention for your birthday? What wish did you make for your birthday? And it wants to come to you. But I hope that wish was very clear, a clear intent about what is working with your life and what is not. And that you are here to really... Um, enjoy new beginnings and a fresh start and not only for your birthday but because we have the total solar eclipse in cancer how do you feel and be very honest with yourself in regards to the partner in your life and in regards to love in your life and that is what I'm seeing for Gemini oh and this card just wanted to come out and oh my god this is totally a relationship open your heart allow yourself to be tender Look at that. This is like a twin flame. You're just being carried. So it could be, you know, um, just that surrender into the arms of another. So it, there could be a relationship, I want to say, that possibly ended and a new one that is coming into. And um, this is the one that you have been waiting for. And if it's not something new, then maybe your relationship has transformed. And now this is allowing yourself that softness to be carried and loved by another and cupid has chosen you gemini so whatever you're wishing for here it is until next month namaste